Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a mega menu inside of Wix Studio. Mega menus are a fantastic way to keep your headers minimal and still be able to include a bunch of links to pages that your users may find important. In this video, we will be building a mega menu for an e-commerce website inside of Wix Studio. And make sure you stick around to the end so I can show you the tablet and mobile breakpoint. And before we get started, I do want to mention, if you want to see videos just like this, but before anyone else, you can press that join button down below this video to become a channel member. I typically upload videos one to four weeks early for the channel members to view. So if you want to see videos early, just press that join button. But without further ado, let's go ahead and build that mega menu inside of Wix Studio. So here I am inside of Wix Studio. And the first thing that I want to do is create a mega menu. So here is our menu right here inside of the header. And just for example, maybe we want to create a mega menu for the accessories. So I'm gonna go ahead and in the action bar, press manage menu, and I'm going to delete the accessories option here. And we'll go ahead and create our own accessories. So we're gonna add a brand new item and we're gonna choose the mega menu option here. Now for this mega menu, we don't want it to be called mega menu. We want it to be called accessories. So I'm gonna call it accessories just like that. And now we have a mega menu that says accessories. Now, when we add the mega menu, you'll also notice something right here called a container. If we press edit, it's gonna show us the mega menu option here. Now, the cool thing about the mega menu is we can make it as tall or as short as we want just by dragging it up and down. But I want to give us a little room to work with, so I'm gonna drag it down a little bit. I also want to make a note of the spacing here on the website. So if I go ahead and grab this menu, we can see that with the margin, they have a 1.5 margin. So inside the mega menu, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and give us 1.5 margin on all sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that on one side and press the link and it's going to apply that to all sides for us. And I think that looks pretty good. I will say though, for the top and bottom, I might wanna do three, so I'm gonna double it up just so we have a little bit more room. And now we can go ahead and start designing it. So for the design, what I think I wanna do is actually apply a grid. So I'm gonna come over to layout and press apply grid. Inside of this, I'm going to split this into a one by three grid. So, or a three by one grid. So three columns, one row. So now we should have something that looks like this. And I also wanna give us some gap in between the items here. So I'm gonna set the gap to maybe five VW, just so we have a nice space in between all of the columns. Fantastic. Now over here on the left hand column, I might wanna add some text. So I'm gonna grab like this heading two element here. It's probably not gonna be this big, but maybe this one can be handbags or something like that. And for this text element, I'm gonna set this from scale proportionately to hug. And we're gonna send this to the top left. And I'm also just gonna make it a little bit smaller as well. We probably don't need it to be that big. I think 32 will do here, fantastic. And then underneath that, let's go ahead and grab this text element here and we'll call this one collection one and we'll set this to wrap as well. So what we're gonna do is grab this element, put it underneath the handbag and I'm gonna copy and paste it a couple times and just change the text to collection two. And we'll do this a couple more times. Okay, once we're done with that, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and select all of these elements and I'm gonna stack these together. And then inside of the layout options here, I'm gonna set this to 1.5%. And for this one, for the title, I'm gonna go ahead and give us 12 pixels of spacing, just so we have something that looks like this. Fantastic. Now what I want to do is go ahead and copy this stack. I'm gonna move this over here into the middle column here. Send this to the top left. Instead of handbags, maybe we can do earrings or something like that. Great. Now what I want to do is go ahead and shrink the column widths here. So I'm gonna grab the column and inside of the layout tab, I'm gonna set this to minimum content. And we'll go ahead and do that for the second row here as well, or second column here. Perfect. Inside of this third column, what I want to do is just add an image. So I'm gonna to go to quick add, drag out an image, place it in the column. We're gonna stretch it. And for the corners, let's round it to like 64. And we're gonna change the image to 
like a purse or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll choose this one right here. Fantastic. So now let's go ahead and grab the height of this and we'll bring it up. And I am going to remove some of the rounded edge here to like 24. I think that looks a little bit better. And I also will say, I think with this, we are just gonna set the left and right padding to three as well. I just think it'll look a little bit nicer like this. Perfect. So now we have our mega menu completely done. So when I go ahead and press preview and I hover over the accessories, we now have this mega menu design here. Now, if I go ahead and switch over to tablet and I hover over this, this is what it's gonna look like. And then if I go down to mobile and I press the options here, we're not gonna see the mega menu here. And if we switch to mobile, what we can do to view the menu is select this little menu icon and press open menu. And then what we can do is select the menu and press manage menu. Now, if we scroll down to the mega menu, you'll notice that we cannot put the mega menu feature here on mobile. So one thing we can do to get around this is we can create a menu specifically for mobile. So if I go ahead and press the menu up here and press manage site menus, what I can then do is click on the three dots and duplicate this one. And what we're gonna do is call this one menu for mobile. And now we have a brand new menu for the mobile phone. So what we can do is come over to add item. We're gonna choose a link. We're gonna do a page. So what we want to link to is a category page. And we want to link to the accessories, just like that, and go ahead and press done. And we can call this one accessories. So even though it's not a mega menu here for mobile, we still have a way to add that here. And if you really wanted to, um, you could create a hidden page on your website that this would link to, and it would kind of be its own menu for mobile for the accessories. But I do think that that would just cause an extra step for your users when they could just easily select accessories and go straight into filtering your products. Um, so I really don't think it's too necessary here on mobile. Whereas with desktop, it does help users find exactly what they're looking for a little bit quicker. On mobile, if they have to click on one thing to go to a, to a separate page for accessory menu, then that's just another step for them to take and that's not the best user experience. So. I do think the mega menu here for desktop and tablet is really amazing. And I do kind of support that it's not supported on the mobile breakpoint. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.